The Get to Know Poland program has been in operation since 2021. To date, more than 900,000 students have benefited from the Ministry of Education and Sciences program. The program has been in operation for two years. It has been extremely popular. Each announcement of the new edition of the program resulted in thousands of schools applying for funding. However, only some of the schools were able to get it, as funds were limited, hence the idea to offer the program universally to everyone. Thanks to the funding of one- and two-day trips, up to five million students will be able to see Poland's most important monuments next year. This includes more than 300 places in Poland. With each edition, this list has been extended by more cultural institutions, important locations from the point of view of the history of our nation, places where you can conduct an outdoor lesson on history, geography and the Polish language. You can learn by seeing and observing places of importance. According to preliminary estimates, the program will cost 1 billion złoty. The school voucher Get to Know Poland program is also great news for the tourism sector and the Polish carrier industry. This is the fourth proposal this week in the election program. Previously, Poles heard about ideas for revitalizing old apartment buildings made of large slabs, improving the quality of meals served in hospitals and increasing the sale of products from local suppliers in large retail chains. Today in the election campaign, we heard that the Law and Justice Party offered the first concrete proposal for health care. This proposal says, after eight years of governing, they will give people food in hospitals. This is what we have on the table today. Finally, a promise. Law and Justice is making many more promises. After eight years, it has noticed that there are large slab apartment buildings in Poland with which something must be done. We want to address this topic by building friendly neighborhoods neighborhoods, not only through revitalization or photovoltaics, but also through new space arrangements. It can't be that there are underground parking lots available to everyone in new housing developments, and that there are a few spaces for a select few in the neighborhoods with old apartments, or that there are rundown playgrounds. Unfortunately, there are still places that need to be changed. Also on Saturday, the Civic Platform will present its election program at the party's convention in Tarnów. On Saturday, together with Michał Kołodziejczak, we will present 100 proposals for the first 100 days. This includes the package for the Polish countryside. We are well prepared for this, but since we have arranged the announcement with the Polish public and the media for this Saturday in Tarnów, that's where we will announce the whole package. So please be patient. Elections are won by keeping promises. They don't fulfill their promises, just as Tusk promised promised not to raise a retirement age, and then he did in 2011. According to the latest Kantar poll for TVN Facts and TVN24, it is law and justice which has the most support among Polish people. The elections in Poland will be held on October 15th.